What's up guys? Craze back again. Today I'm going to be talking about Halo Online. And of course I'm playing some Halo 3 because I feel like that kind of feels appropriate for this subject. Since Halo Online was pretty much a modded type of version of Halo 3 and actually looked really cool. Now I personally, personally have not had any experience with Halo Online. Um, I was unable to... Uh, I, you know, let's just say I downloaded it and unfortunately it was searching for some silly file that it should have been there but it wasn't but uh, I don't know I don't know why I couldn't get it started uh, and I didn't really have the time this week to uh, really focus on it and try to figure it out so I can get some game time on it because that would have been nice because it's it really looks like it would have been a lot of fun so that kind of sucks in that aspect but but there's a couple things Halo Online really brought to the front, and I just want to talk about a few of them here. Uh, and I do want to say sorry for a lack of content this week. If you guys caught me on Twitter, uh, you probably would have noticed that uh, I put out a tweet that says I had training this week, so I was really unable to really make some content. Uh, so you get that out there. Uh, so training's done. So I should be back to normal here next week. So that'd be kind of nice. But back to the subject down hand, and that's Halo Online. The things I want to say. The first thing is, this is what's happening right now with the the shutdown and everything uh, with um, Halo Online by Microsoft and 343. I do not blame them at all. It, it, to me, it just makes sense legally. It's what they have to do to protect those assets, and it's not does not even seem like it's something they wanted to do. It's something they had to do just because um, for future issues. If uh, something else came up in the future, uh, they would have to uh, refer back to this, and they would say, "Well, you let El Dorito kind of do it, and those modders get away with it, so why not us?" So yeah, that. If they just let it go, uh, this would have been a whole other can of worms that I'm sure Microsoft would not have wanted to get into, as well as 343. And even us, even us, I think, I don't think it would have went well because then there's just a whole bunch of issues that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, legally, uh, even YouTubers and streamers, as you guys know, that have streamed and put... Uh, content online the content has probably been banned or taken down in some way which kind of sucks but uh, that's the way it goes and uh, you have to deal with it as it comes so that being said I'm not upset with them in one one bit I absolutely 100% understand why they're doing what they're doing now what I did want to say is that this kind of brought to light a couple things. Is number one, is that people want Halo 3 on a PC, or they want Halo on a PC, period. You know, and I'm 100% all for that. Why not? Especially if it makes it cross-platform between uh, Xbox and, of course, the uh, PC. Why wouldn't that make sense? You'd have more players online, which means a better experience for everybody. Uh, to me that just makes sense why not do that and they're kind of hinting at it they're kind of hinting at that we're going to be getting uh, some halo on PC sometime soon now I'm suspecting that we're gonna see MCC I think MCC is gonna be going to PC which is why they're really geared up uh, rehashing the servers rehashing the, the matchmaking system uh, making sure that's gonna be compatible with the PC at some point so that's gonna be kind of cool I think uh, if that happens because that would just bring of course like I said more people to the Halo community uh, and that's what we need especially if the servers are working and the MCC is working that would just be amazing because uh, I can't even tell you the last time I've seen over 20,000 players uh, on a Halo game because I just can't. Uh, well, of course, we don't have any numbers anymore because uh, I think they want to kind of hide those. But uh, let's be real. Uh, Halo 5 doesn't have 20,000 people playing every day. 
I, I almost guarantee you they don't. If they have 10,000, uh, I would be surprised. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think that's just the, the state of it, the way it is right now. And I hate to say that because I like Halo. I love playing Halo. It's like the one game that I can really get into and just relax and, and enjoy. Unfortunately, we have not been able to do that for quite some time. Uh, for me, honestly, like I said, I loved uh, Halo Reach. I really enjoyed it. But I've had so many little things in there that just bothered me, such as, you know, armor lock and jetpack. And uh, this, these were just some silly decisions that were made by Bungie. And of course, 343 kind of continued down that way with um, uh, Halo 4, which pretty much Call of Halo or whatever you want to say, it, it definitely was a, trying to copy the Call of Duty franchise. And. Halo 5, they tried to, well, they didn't really try to copy anybody, they just tried to, well, sort of, I guess, they tried to copy Halo CE, I think, with the pistol starts and the, uh, the ultra competitive, even though I would say uh, <laughs> Halo CE is the least competitive, uh, but that'd be argumentative, <laughs> that, that would be argued, I guess, uh, I would say Halo 2 would be the most competitive, uh, but that being said, they tried to copy something else, uh, and uh, to me, it just didn't work. And uh, they launched a game with three stinking game types: uh, Slayer, uh, what was the other one? Strongholds, and uh, what was and Capture the Flight. And that's it. That's it. And it's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating to have this content, and they just uh, fall short fall short so I'm really hoping for Halo 6 and now you hear <laughs> and I hate to say this even now you hear people wanting Halo to be uh, a uh, to have a battle royale mode and I'm just like no no we we really need to stop copying stuff and just make be our own thing and just to have our own line just go, let's just go back to classic and really, really hit that back up again because I think that's half the reason. That's half the reason that the Halo PC or Halo Online game took off the way it did because it didn't have much for advertising. It had very little, just kind of word of mouth. People started playing and of course streamers started streaming and uh, YouTubers were, were talking about it and Twitter just kind of blew up and even 343 employees or contractors start saying, man, this is awesome. But we can't let this keep going because it's just something we have to do. So I'm really hoping that this open Microsoft and 343's eyes is to two major things that the community wants back. Or they just want, they want Halo on PC, which just makes sense to me. And they want a classic style Halo. Where you don't have the sprinting, you don't have clambering, ground pounding, you don't have jetpacks and, and all these other armor abilities and armor locks and just classic, simple Halo. That's it and some solid maps, and some good times with friends. That's all we want. At least that's all I want. At least that way I can go, hey, <laughs> that guy just out BR'd me. You know, it kind of, kind of rough, but yeah, that's the way it goes. At least I'm not sitting there going, oh man, I've been Spartan charged by the same guy five times in one match. Yeah. And I'm just calling out the BS on it all the time. Just. I, I want that to go away. I really do. I want that type of stuff to go away where it's it's player against player, not player against player versus abilities or whatever they chose or I don't know. It's, I just think it'd be so much better. I would really enjoy a much more classic game. And I think a lot of people out there will as well and it would really put Halo's niche back where it needs to be because we need to stop it. We need to stop copying people. Stop copying other companies because 
that makes no sense. It makes no sense. Let Halo be Halo. Let Call of Duty be Call of Duty. Let Fortnite be Fortnite. You know what I mean? That way, you know, if you want to play something like Fortnite, hey, you got Fortnite. You want to play something Halo, you got Halo. Just throwing that out there, guys. Now, this video is going to quickly wrap up. And I know, I know, you've probably heard all this before by now, but I really wanted to share my opinion on this because I think the Halo community really needs some love. And unfortunately, we got till uh, June, June to see something, something good, something good for Halo. At least I hope. <laughs> e3 is coming. And hopefully it's going to be amazing. But uh, I do appreciate you guys taking the time, listening to my rant. And uh, yeah, go ahead and throw a comment down below. See if you agree with what I'm saying or disagree. I'm perfectly willing to hear both sides. This is crazy, guys. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.